from outside. Good defensive stand there by Southeastern. Veal quickly to work. Lays it up and in, and Marlon Veal is his first points of the night. In his first game since transferring over from Vanderbilt. Veal for three. Good. Lane up by 11. Under the 12-minute mark in this first half. Veal, shot good. And he seems like he's got the hot hand. Well, he can create his shot, and it's a very nice shot indeed, but when he's battling a much bigger team and very athletic, Tulane's beat it to him. By 11, Veal drives and lays it up and in. Veal's got nine. And Polanco, fancy dribbling, but loses the basketball. Tulane's defense has been impressive here tonight, but Veal gets the jumper He's to go. impressive, too. He can create shots. Veal now defensively picks the pocket of Slater and then whistled for the double dribble. And he was moving. He was moving so fast. He got that steal and actually dribbled. Pass by Slater, and Blake Paul, miscommunication there, throws it away. Veal with the answer. Marlon Veal into double figures. He's a one-man wrecking crew right now for the Lions. Finding that left corner open. The ball's on the right side. Lions are overplaying and they're forgetting their man in the corner. Veal threads the needle and lays it up and in. He's got 15. Going forward is Southeastern and it's a loose ball. Coming away with it is Veal again. That's going to the basket. You can see it. He put his head down, and you could tell. You could tell that he was going straight to the basket. Already, and a chance to add to it. 16 points. 8 of 11 at the free throw line on Friday night. Now trouble back in the ball game for Southeastern. Spent a lot of time in the first half on the bench. Outside, shot for three. Good answer by Charleston. And the second assist for Southeastern in the ball game. 18.49 to go. Tulane leading it by 10. A little while since Tulane scored, but even with that two and a half minute drought, drawing an 11 2 run. Shot from the outside, and that's a big answer right there. And I'm not sure we've seen him reveal everything tonight, especially from the outside. They're shooting 50% from deep. They've only taken 16 three pointers. I think this is a team that has a talent to shoot a lot more than three. is Southeastern bringing it up the floor. And it's the shot by Veal, and it is wow. good for three. What a shot, though. A step back misdirection when he went left. Step or four green wave in double digits. Underneath, Caps lays it up and in. Those 10 rebounds that he has now, not only a double-double, but that's a career high for the rebounds. Goes to work, and Marlon Beal, he 24. Woo, he, he's, he's fun to watch. He's a highlight right there. Ball. Coca couldn't come up with it, and here comes... Coca tried to rebound that flat foot, and he left the floor. Marlon Veal racing it up the floor. He's got 26. I'll tell you what, people in the Southland Conference are going to have to rethink the fact that they named him preseason second team. Second if, team. If he plays like this in the SLC... Folks in the Southland are going to be changing their opinion real quick. So this year he's at 54%. So maybe not shooting as much, but getting much better looks. That may have been deflected too, but it ends up working out for the Lions. Look here at their last bucket. That's Greenwood, and I'm not sure that was a pass, but either way, that'll count for two play. Veal, that's a good move by him, and he gets a kind little roll. Veal, got it down low. And caps. It's a much down. Continue to play through it. And there you go. Makes a nice move. Puts the shoulder in the defender. Per game or more. And they have coming into tonight 10 players who have made six field goals or more. So they've really spread it out as Veal adds a free throw. More by committee. Jalen Walker will lead the way. But Ken's going to need a. There's not going to be a lane there. Look for your teammates here. Veal fouled, and that is not what Penn State head coach Rob Senderoff had in mind. He throw good, cutting into that. Pretty quick, and as you saw there, very hard to stay in front of. Got him for that pass. Shot clock to five for Veal. It's a running start. 
and the floater is off the window and good. We talked about in the opening, one of the keys to victory for Kent was to keep that man right there out of the paint, mates. We have to do that here in the second half. And one coming up on that good move by Veal. There's Marlon Veal. This guy is a special kind of athlete. What I mean by that is, sure, he might be five foot eight. When you're five eight and you can finish like that around the basket, it just tells you right there that man can play. It's to get to the cup, and he's been doing that here in the second half, and he's cut this game to a one possession. Kent State lead is five. Is Veal being checked by Frederick? We'll circle back out. That's good defense by Frederick. Veal tries to split. The two defenders can't. Over dueling, all of a sudden, Veal is getting hot. Oh my goodness, this young man, Veal, out of New Orleans, Louisiana. I've gone by the board thanks to Marlon Veal finding it in the second half. This kid has been special here in the second half. Undersized point guard, but don't tell him that. He can finish with either hand. You see him finish with the left hair. And if he gets that three-point shot going, he's going to be... Right now, we're no, and... Walker couldn't recycle the miss. Here comes Veal. Open, near side three. Polanco, Lions take the lead. We set it in open shot as they do just there, but well defended by Walker. Trying to lose Peterson is Veal. Steps it back and hits again. <laughs> and right wow. now, Veal taking over has moved his team in front by one. If I didn't know better, I would have thought that was Allen Iverson. Incredible move by the junior out of junior out of New Orleans. And again, there's nothing, nothing fancy about this. Just get the ball into your hands and create something on your own. Great crossover. And he's talking to Peterson after. You see again, right to left, step back, pure. Not on an off shooting night. Here's a steal, and on the run is Veal. He will give the Lions their largest lead. And a timeout taken by Rob Senderoff. Two guard, and that's his job when he's playing that position. Knock down the shots when you're open. Purrington with an answer. Look for him to stay aggressive in these last four minutes. He is nine for 17. Veal through a double team. What a move wow. by Marlon Veal. He's given the Lions a two-point lead. Oh. Here. Marlon Veal is six for seven in the second half. He has been spectacular. Only averaging 14 points on the year. Already has 20 here tonight. And he has earned every one of those points. Tough shots. He's got to the cup, finished with contact. He has done it all for this Lions team. And that's Charleston, here's Veal. And a foul is called on Zabo. After the shot clock got reset. Perfect. Zabo, his fourth personal foul, and the Lions think. At the same time, you're looking for chemistry to develop on the road. Good move down low. And here's Veal, who we highlighted on the pregame. And Veal, Ladner, Ladner Light Paget in his fourth gear. Veal, watch the s uh, speed he possesses and able to finish off the glass. Marlon Veal in the open court like lightning. The timeout, Samford going to a little matchup zone. Three for Veal, swish to tie the game. Wow. No net needed from Veal. Have Wyatt Walker, and so he's watching Eric Adams getting playing time. Adams unable to draw the foul. And it's game, nine points for the Lions. Steal the quick hands of Veal. Veal will be knocked to the ground by Adams of Sanford. Well, he's just quick, 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 quick. You know, he's out of New Orleans. Play for a high school there in the city of New Orleans, and he's just fast. He's got quick hands, great speed, great push. Really not a bad foul for. There's the trap. Two on one. Get the ball reversed. Beautiful pass. Deals a player. Caps and one. Phenomenal, phenomenal penetration by Veal. They was in a trap game. They're trapping the wing, trapping the corner. Great penetration, great jump stop, great bounce pass. Cunningham against Veal. Look at the quick hands quick. by Veal. Boy, he is quick at both ends. Able to get the turnover. And now for the lead. That will not. Anna, you're down nine. 
And all of a sudden, if you lose the last two, three minutes, let's say Samford wins that by three. Well, you go in at halftime down 12, and you're really hot and a great set call there by Samford. Caps wants to answer. A little short, gets the board. A little bit more ball movement, player movement out of southeastern Louisiana in this possession. Veal trying to shake his man down, able to connect. And Torsi he said, we don't need a lot of player yeah. movement, ball movement. I got your ball it, movement. Yeah, yeah. That's at your, your advantage because you can lift weights, you can work on player development, and you can get better to better. And as I talk, the home run ball. Here's Veal, and you got to like the, uh, the way that Marlon Veal plays with speed and banks at home. Well, he's just got a swagger. I've coached some guys like him. He's not very big. He's 5'9", about 145 pounds, but you can't. You just can't measure his heart. He's got a about a 10-footer won't fall. Adams making his presence known, but so is Veal with those dynamic quick hands. Ooh, boy, I tell you, he is quick on quick at both ends of the floor. He's got great hands. Steal right there led to a foul by Coleman. That's hard to do. This is one of the reasons why, as, as Murray had talked about earlier, you're not getting your full possessions because it's will southeastern louisiana to a win today at both ends nice called set boy that's big time and polanco I've, murray for the tie corner that was really a fake drive by veal because all along he was going to pass that ball and veal stepped out of bounds through the steal you can see this is a fake drive because he's looking to pass he's jumping out of bounds to make the corner pass that got polanco right there and if they can get Polanco. Lions lead the Bulldogs by one. Great pass. And the home run ball. This one at the Hannah Center. They're up by four. You look at some of the uh, action. Boy, that's great penetration. Veal's just got the whole game. He can pass it, distribute. Great pass here for the corner three by Polanco. <laughs> He's got some of your gigs there with the, uh, the Sun Belt. Well, he does. John's doing some TV yeah. and radio. Mike. Now a four-point lead for southeastern Louisiana. There's the lob in the basket by Caps. Well, you press. He's going to get a quick timeout, but you press. Nice pass here. Do you lob that or do you bounce it? One of the two on a two-on-one -on -one situation like that. And here comes Sanford to try to take the lead at nine minutes. Coleman pickpocketed from behind. No foul. He I'm going to tell you, Veal's something now. I mean, I could talk about him for five minutes right here. He is. Sanford comes up empty. Now Veal and the Lions, he finds a oh. wide open Fillmore for three. Oh, I'm going to tell you. With the left hand, big time pass. Both those guys are about 5'10", but I'm going to tell you, they can really, really play the game. Demetrius Denzel Dyson. The bounce pass. Oh. The beam. Three minutes remaining. Southeastern Louisiana, up by two. Here's Polanco for three, got it. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, what a great play by Southeastern Louisiana. Polanco back in the game, that's him with the ball. A quick veal. Yeah, oh boy, he's, oh, he's, 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 he's something else, he's fun yeah. to watch. Seven to shoot. Launch the three, a big one, it goes for Marlon Veal. Boy, I tell you what, if you're Jay Ladner, he, he's got to be fun, fun to coach. Away from a road win. Murray, let's look at that sequence. Hell, I'm, I mean, he's just great deflection there, but then he picks it up. He puts great arc on the ball. The most critical thing is a shooter. Shot good. That one dropped in very nicely to get things started by Chase Echo. He's a senior from Mandeville. And it doesn't take Veal very long, as we mentioned, to get right back down the floor, even off of a make by Loyola. Veal gets it down there and lights it. He has led this team the last two seasons and made three-pointers. He comes off the bench and has no fear of just putting it up. And a leaner by Veal counters on the other end. Veal with a couple of buckets. 